understanding what we're doing, my recommendation to you is first identify the parent function. And the parent functions, again, are what's in your notes and what we have written up there you know, on the board. I know this is kind of in the way a little bit. I have a radical one up there, don't I? Yeah, OK. So you guys can see that here is x squared. I'm sorry, x cubed is my parent function. Here, x cubed is my parent function. Here, square root of x is my parent function. Here, cosine of x is my parent function. Here, 1 over x is my function. Here, ln of x is my function. Here, absolute value of x is my function. And here, 1 over x is my function. Okay? All right, now once we've kind of identified what the function is, now what we need to do is identify, are we applying our transformation outside the function or inside the function? Do you guys kind of see how there's a little difference there? So we look at the first one. When I'm subtracting that 3, is that inside the function or outside the function? Inside. And a good way to kind of see if it's inside the function is look to see if it's inside parentheses. Is it inside parentheses? Is it under a radical? Is it in the denominator? Is it um, inside parentheses, under a radicand, or in the denominator? Good ways to understand if it's um, inside something or not. So here you can say I'm subtracting 3. Now based on that, that means it's a horizontal shift. But remember, horizontal shifts were in the opposite direction, right? Because that's x minus h. So that means it's positive 3. So that means we're going 3 units to the, starts with an r, right? right. Okay, here, same function, but now you can see I'm subtracting 3 outside the function. So now I'm shifting the graph 3 units down. Here, what we have to do is determine, am I adding a 1 inside the function or outside the function? We can say inside, inside the function, but I'm adding. So therefore, that's the same thing as going to the left. So it's left. One unit. Um, here I have cosine. I need to determine am I adding a one in, inside cosine or outside of cosine? Outside. outside. So since you're adding one outside, that's going to let go uh, up. up one. Remember, outside is up down, inside is left right. Okay. So over here, I'm subtracting a five. Outside. Anybody else? We got one for outside. Yes. OK, so what does it mean? So if it's in the denominator, is that outside or inside the function? Inside. So if it's in, if it's in the denominator, you could say it's technically inside. Because think about it. Like, here's my function. I'm really subtracting a 5 inside that, like in that denominator. But when I subtract it outside the denominator, like here's an example of outside. That's an example of inside. So yes, it is inside. And since it's a minus, that means it's going to go to the right 5 units. That's why we're doing all this practice. Um, here, I'm adding a 1. You can see that it's going inside the function. So but it's a positive 1. So therefore, it's going to the left 1. Here, I'm subtracting a 9 outside. So therefore, it's going down 9. And then there, the example of 3, which I'm adding outside the function. So therefore, you can see that's up 3. Oh, we're going to do more, don't worry.